Caching is an important concept in Lakehouse. Today we will demonstrate how IBM Storage Fusion HCI can accelerate IBM Watson X data queries over object storage by caching critical data on fast NVMe disk. You will learn that the storage accelerator provides a shared cache across all query engines on all nodes, a cache only once concept for faster performance, and a persistent cache that is available to newly provisioned engines immediately. IBM Watson X data comprises three key components. Multiple query engines optimize costly warehouse workloads using fit-for-purpose engines that scale up or down automatically based on workload requirements. Apache Iceberg is a high-performance table format that excels at large-scale data processing and analytics while allowing multiple engines to access the same table at the same time. The built-in open-source unified governance technology ensures enterprise compliance through managing governance and security, including metadata lineage access and cataloging, or connecting to your existing governance solutions. Simple object storage stores vast amounts of data at fractions of the cost of traditional block storage. To enable the IBM Storage Fusion HCI Storage Accelerator feature, only a small configuration change is required on IBM Watson X data to switch to our internal object storage, which performs the global data platform caching for the original remote object storage. Everything else is done by the Storage Accelerator. IBM Storage Fusion HCI provides an engineered OpenShift appliance-like experience with optimized data services that is expertly designed for rapid deployment of cloud-native applications on-premises. It is designed from the ground up as an integrated system. IBM Watson X data will be fully integrated and delivered on-prem with IBM Storage Fusion HCI. Now let's look at the software architecture and capabilities of IBM Storage Fusion HCI. First, it is built following Red Hat best practices using operators. By default, a best practice installation of IBM Storage Scale Erasure Code Edition is installed so the software deployed on OpenShift can easily consume the high performance storage using dynamic provisioning. Finally, integrated call home covers both the IBM Storage Fusion HCI infrastructure and software with automatic log collection and upload for rapid problem resolution with IBM Fusion support being the one call to place for all your server, network, storage, and OpenShift needs. No matter what the nature of the issue is, we manage it from start to finish as a system. In this demo, IBM Watson X data has already been installed on the IBM Storage Fusion HCI and with one project enabled for storage acceleration. We will be using a Presto cluster of one coordinator and four workers to execute query 84 from TPCDS on a one terabyte dataset. We pick query 84 as it queries for multiple tables while reading 1.6 gigabytes of data and finishes in a short period of time for demo purposes. The storage accelerator feature provides the key advantages of a shareable cache for hybrid multi-clouds and multiple engines. Any object read, including partial range reads from the object storage will be cached in or shareable cache and available to any engine, any instances, or any user on any participating nodes. The cache object will be persistent even for newly provisioned engines. And soon, a data format or workload aware shareable cache is on our roadmap. When we execute the TPCDS query with storage acceleration off, all four Presto workers need to read from the public cloud without any opportunity to reuse data from prior object reads. Thus, there may be additional egress charges as well as excess network traffic coming from the public cloud into your data center. Due to the 1.6 gigabytes data read from the public cloud, this query completed in 1 minute 27 seconds. And if this query was repeated or slightly changed, the lack of data caching means all object reads will come from the public cloud again. Now with storage acceleration on, any cache miss will trigger a transparent object read by the storage accelerator from the remote object storage and immediately cache in the storage accelerator. In this demo to compare between storage acceleration off versus on, all object reads will be a cache hit. Thus there are no reads from the public cloud and all reads are from the storage accelerator. And this query completed in 12.5 seconds or for a 7x performance improvement. However, cost and network savings should also be considered. To summarize, some query engines may have their own caching capabilities, but it is local to the node only. Every compute engine and every worker of that engine must spend time caching data that isn't local. This leads to data that can be duplicated multiple times across local caches, and coordinators aren't aware of who has what. Since the cache is local, this local cache is lost when instances are shut down. The storage accelerator provides global persistent data caching capabilities that differentiate from how other vendors approach caching from object storage.